Hey guys, quick video. This is the uh, Sawtooth um, ET series <clears throat> that I was originally mint green. I painted it um, with Rust-Oleum. Um, what color is this here? Maui blue, uh, Maui gloss blue. Um, <clears throat> this is my first uh, paint job, so uh, I learned a little bit when I was painting it. Though uh, these paint cans. Uh, I know I've used them before, but the uh, they're very they they spray very heavy. It's hard to get a nice couple of thin coats. Um, so I wet sanded it with some 2000. The back I actually uh, I used 1500, which which was a little aggressive. I have a couple little you know light scratches here and there, you know, uh, from the sandpaper. And actually, I took some of it down to almost where it was mint green. You could see some of the light blemishes here, which is the color coming through. But <clears throat> all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't care. I'm just gonna. Uh, I mean, if I would have fucked it up, I would have relicked it, but uh, the, not that much paint came off. But this is the uh, Sawtooth ET series. This is one with the um, um, antique white pick guard and the rosewood fretboard, which I'll be putting it on. Uh, maybe later on today, I'll start slapping this thing together. And I'm doing some work on the uh, switch control. I got some new Emerson pots, uh, 250s, and a new uh, CRL uh, three-way switch I'm going to put in it. Um, I really like to upgrade to a nice ash body. I've been eyeballing a couple on eBay, but um, if you're going to use this paint, <clears throat> it's good paint. You got to go light, light and dry on it. I let it sit. This is uh, about two days, uh, two days drying before I even attempted to uh, sand it. So I wet sanded it with um, 15, but probably better off with 2000, especially if you're going to use like a machine like this. Uh, I have a high-speed machine, which, you know, I couldn't use on the guitar because it would probably throw it. Um, and I had no way of clamping it down. And this is such a cheap body. It's uh, like balsa wood. They say it's sycamore, but it's more like a, it's about a one-pound uh, piece of balsa wood is what it is. And um, I use this because this here, it doesn't, it's not that aggressive. You know, I cranked it up a little high. I had some uh, white cut I used. And... Uh, a polishing pad. I also used an orange pad, which is a little more aggressive for you guys that do, uh, you know, detailing work. You know what I'm talking about. But it came out pretty good. I uh, I mostly concentrated, you know, where you're going to see uh, the paint. Over here is going to be all covered up with the pick guard, the bridge, and the other uh, plate. But you can see even the spots where you're going to see it. It's very little, uh, very, very little to no scratches. Uh, it's pretty glossy. And like I said, this is pretty cool color. It's a Maui blue, uh, Rust-Oleum. If you guys are, you know, thinking about colors, uh, I, the spa blue was a little more to like the uh, greenish blue, almost like a uh, that that BMW blue green or whatever. I don't know. It's like a ocean blue. Dark, it's a little darker, uh, lighter than this actually. But I just want to give you a quick video on the Sawtooth ET how it's coming along, and uh, maybe later on today I'll post another video if I have it together and tuned up. Uh, Thank you and uh, have a good day.